Friends, imagine driving down this highway, 90, Elvis, Vernon, Gladys, June. And Gladys is taking in the sights of all these beautiful antebellum houses. Past Christian is the name of this little town. This was hit the hardest by Hurricane Camille, I believe. And this is the area where all the antebellum houses were that Gladys was commenting about. She was sitting in the back seat and June was in the front seat. And she was commenting about how beautiful these houses were. And June even offered to let her move to the front seat uh, so she could see better, but she told June that she could see just as good from the back. She was good, and she kept telling Vernon, Would, wouldn't it be awesome for us to live in a house like this? Wouldn't you like to live in a house like this? And Vernon would never answer. <clears throat> uh, and I think because Vernon was worried about how he would pay for it, <clears throat> so he would never tell her. But this is the area, and you can see that unfortunately, there's no antebellum houses left. Mm -hmm. So the houses that they were seeing in this area appear to be gone for yeah. the most part. Hurricane Camille of 69. Yep. Now that looks, well, that may or may not be original, but this was antebellum houses all the way down here lining this area at that time. And very few appear to have made it. Look at that one right there. That is beautiful. But you tell that's new construction because it's so high. Mm -hmm. the, this was the area. And you can see that there, Highway 90 is right on the water, right on the beach, all the way down. You could see it. And um, it really took a beating, this place did. But right here is where Gladys <coughs> was making those comments. Right along in here. Maybe it put an idea in Elvis's head about a house like Graceland one day. And that's a good point. Not too soon after this, not too far after this, they bought Graceland. And it could have been put in her mind. She Elvis heard her saying how much she loved these houses. And he thought, okay, I've got to buy my mama a house. And I, I know he told her like this, I tell you, June, I got to buy my mama a house like these houses we see right here at Past Christian. So we got to start looking when I get back to Memphis, baby, like that. And June said, oh, Elvis, why don't you do that for your mama? And so he did. So friends, we're at Bay St. Louis on uh, Highway 90. We're heading through. And somewhere along in here is where uh, they started seeing signs for live baby alligators for sale. So back then, you could buy a live baby alligator at the stores along the way, and there were not convenience stores like you see here. There was little mom and pop stores along all these routes, and they uh, commented about that. They stopped and looked at alligators, and Gladys commented that they were adorable, but what do you do when they grow up? And what did Elvis say? Ah, <laughs> oh, Mama, you run. <laughs> he said, "Oh, Mama, you run when they when they grow up, and you feed them some of them hard fried eggs." <laughs> but that happened right along in here. But Vernon was fascinated by the fact that you could buy an alligator, and you know how they love to have animals at um, Graceland. I'm surprised they didn't end up with an alligator. So friends, this doesn't look like much. I want you to look in here. You're gonna see that is a lamp. And then that's the base. You see that little chrome piece? That is the base. And then you see a post right here. You see the outriggers on the post. And then if I move around to the side, you're gonna see where the lights were on the top. You can see where the light fell. You see there's a light there. Now there was a second post that is gone now. And what you're looking at is this right here. That is where that sign was. The post that you're seeing right there is that sign. And you can see it said White Kitchen. Elvis and Gladys and Vernon and 
June stopped here in eight. So the building would have been right over in there. We're gonna go over there and see if there's any concrete left, but you see where that substation is or whatever that is. There's gotta be concrete left over there. We're gonna drive. I hope the sign is up in here, but I'm sure it is, but <laughs> I don't know how dangerous it is to go in here. Yeah, I've already seen an alligator. So yeah, we've seen an alligator just a moment ago asking for the sign. Yeah, Trey's trying to scare me. He's saying he's hearing noises of stuff moving in here. So I'm sure that that sign is under all this honeysuckle and stuff. I don't see the second post. You can see that post is there. The second post would have been over here. It probably fell and pulled the sign in there somewhere. So that sign is here. We just can't see it. I feel like it's here anyway. But the restaurant would have been here that they stopped at. So we're going to take the uh, Gray Ghost and drive back up in there and see what we can see. Stay tuned. So we went to a different side, to the other side, and you can see there's some pieces. There's a pole laying over in there. I don't actually see the sign itself, but it's really thick here. I do see a memento from the sign right here. That was probably on the sign to run electricity to it. Let's see if I can get closer in here. And it's, somebody may have taken the actual sign because you know how people love, love signs. But all I see is a post in there with some electrical stuff on the end of it. And that is the top of the other post with the light fixture. And I would assume this came off of it. I could see that, but I do not see the sign in there at all. You don't I don't see a rounded blue off or anything, do you? Nope. You hear that? What is that? A bullfrog, I guess. <laughs> all right. We got a memento right here. This is the electrical connection. But the way you'll find it, if you want to know where the restaurant was, you see where it says Fort Pike State Historical Site. There's a little park on the corner right there. That is 190 turning to the right now, Highway 10. This is the original Highway 90. There's a little park with a, uh, a a bridge that walks in or a, a walkway the place that we showed you where the alligator was where you can go to the swamp tours is on the left right there at that intersection and I recommend you go there but this is where it happened at so we're gonna drive up in there and see what we can see stay tuned that's why I have the gray ghost friends so we can go places like that so if you look at the red building on the corner the distance from the sign you can see where the sign is right there the distance from the sign looks about right for that to be this little concrete patch right here and then the store would have gone that way but look over here now it's possible that this was poured concrete and this was outside and that's the edge of it look at the tile all this tile and all this stuff is from that restaurant that they stopped and ate at. So Gladys, Vernon, Elvis, and June ate at this restaurant where this tile right here is at. You can still see the remnants and you can still see the sign out there. So there you go, friends, another piece of the Elvis puzzle. And it's just in front of this thing, whatever it is. This is some kind of uh, electric uh, interface thing. It says level three. So, I mean, if it was level one, we would run. That's all I can tell you. But it happened right here, Highway 90, Slidell, Louisiana.
But you could see the building was pretty long. It goes way over here. I'm going to make my way over here. And there's more tile. So this is concrete. There's, there's tile right there. And if you look at this photo, you'll see that the restaurant was more on this side and the bar was more on the other side. And of course they added to it over the years. It changed quite a bit. Things moved around. Based off that picture right there, the vast majority of the restaurant was on this side right over in here. So this is the correct spot. And like I say, the sign is right there. That's the post of it. That sign right there. So this is the spot. It happened right here, no doubt. In fact, this looks like, well, you don't know how it was inside the building. You can see there's steps up and steps down, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, there's tile right there. Now it's different, it's uh, like terracotta broken up in pieces. This is the spot, no doubt. Yeah, it jumps up, jumps down. And there's even some pink tile over here for Elvis. That. I got that. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, I want some of this pink tile. Me too. There's some pieces on the ground here. There it is, friends. Elvis was here. Not maybe. According to eyewitness testimony from June Juanico, they traveled down that road right there where that beautiful blue Jeep is. And they ate right here with Gladys and Vernon. All right, this is pure speculation, but you see the entrance right there where that awning is. We believe that that awning entrance is, when you go through the door would have been this pink. The bar would have been that way the rest of the restaurant would have been that way. But you see that there is a, an entrance right there with the awning. It says white kitchen. That would tell us why it's a different color here. And that would explain why this is a different color here than everything else. And they also have this terracotta tile and I wonder if that tile is out there. I really can't make it out in the picture. But this is the spot, friends, no doubt. And there was also, in another photograph, there was a, a, a gas station out there in an old photograph. 